What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying life today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2024 Nissan Sentra SR. Huge thank you to David Wright over at Safford Brown Nissan of Fairfax, Virginia for allowing me to do this video for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular Sentra or any Nissan product, then I'll be sure to have David's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. All right, well, just like usual, first, I'm going to talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2024 Nissan Sentra SR, and this particular one has been painted in the $395 Aspen White Tricoat. I wanted to preface this video by saying for 2024, Nissan refreshed the exterior of the Sentra with an updated front end, new wheel designs, and an upgraded transmission. But this one being the SR, as standard, you get LED headlights with high beam assist as well as standard turn signals. And then taking a step to the left, this is what the front end of the redesigned 2024 Sentra looks like. So you do get a gloss black front grille with your Nissan logo located at the center of it. And then just offset to the right of your Nissan logo, you have your orange SR badging. And then just above your Nissan logo, you may notice that you get a forward facing camera. And that is because this one's been optioned with the $2,490 premium package, which gives you that forward facing camera that works with your 360 degree view camera system and then zoom it out a little bit on the outsides of your front grille you may notice you get some dark chrome trim both there and there and then coming down just a little bit more you get a gloss black lower grille and then you also get gloss black outer grills with some more of that dark chrome trim right there and then taking a step back here is a front three-quarter shot of the SR and then coming on down the side these are the standard wheels you get with this trim level and they are 18 inch gloss black with machine accent wheels that are wrapped in 215 45 Huncook Kinergy GT all season tires. I'll give you a view of the tread pattern on those tires there real quick. And then I also wanted to mention if you are not a fan of the way that these wheels look, there is one other wheel option to choose from. And then again, this one being the SR, which is the sporty trim level of the Sentra, you get gloss black mirror caps with integrated turn signals. And as standard, these side view mirrors are heated, manual folding, and you will find your blind spot monitoring here on the driver's side and about right there on the passenger side. But again, this one being optioned with the premium package, you get the 360 degree view camera system. So you get a camera on the bottom of both of your side view mirrors located right there. Now I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna give you a side profile shot. And then you may notice that you get satin black window trim at the top of your windows, but then you get the satin chrome window trim at the bottom of the windows. You also get body color door handles with keyless access. Just keep in mind though, the keyless access function is only on the front two door handles. The rear two door handles do not get the keyless access function. And then working my way down to the back end here on your C pillar, you get some gloss black trim. You get a body color shark fin antenna at the center of your roof. You also get a rear window defroster and your third brake light is located there. With the SR, as mentioned, this is the sporty trim level. So you do get the body color spoiler here. Now I'm gonna take a step back, give you a rear three quarter shot of the Sentra SR. Now I'm gonna take a step to the right and give you a little booty shot of this thing. And you may notice your Sentra badging is chrome you get a gray nissan logo and then all the way to the right you have your orange sr badging but just underneath your nissan logo and offset to the left is where you will find your backup camera but just underneath the nissan logo if you put your hand here and the vehicle is unlocked and you pull up on that pad that is how you open up your trunk now the only option that we have here in the trunk area are the $270 carpeted floor mats and the trunk mat all in one option. Your carpeted floor mats say center on them in the gray script. And then you have your trunk mat there. Basically you'd roll out and it'd be like a floor mat for your trunk area. And then if you lift up on this piece right here, that is where you'll find your spare tire and your jack. And honestly, considering the size of this little sedan, there's actually quite a bit of storage space in the trunk area. Again, considering the size of the sedan. It's not huge, but it's actually quite a bit of storage space for the Sentra. And then again, coming down just a little bit, I wanted to mention this one has also been optioned with the $75 clear bumper protector, which is basically a piece of paint protection film. And it starts here, it ends here. So instead of, you know, 
pulling a heavy item out and scratching your bumper, you basically have this piece right here, which is like your sacrificial piece that gets scratched that you can pull off and replace rather than painting this part of the bumper. Definitely nice. And then as standard, you get four parking sensors back here, two reflectors, some gloss black trim, both there and for your valence. You get a single exit exhaust and your fuel door is also over here on your passenger side however to open up the fuel door you have to do it from the driver's seat but really that's kind of about it for the exterior of the Sentra SR let me know your opinions on the subtle refresh of the Sentra in the comment section down below but with that stuff out of the way let's move into performance Popping open that hood reveals the 2-liter naturally aspirated 4-cylinder that makes 149 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to the new for 2024 Xtronic CVT for a 0-60 to 60 time in 9.2 seconds. And if you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 30 miles per gallon in the city, 38 miles per gallon on the highway for 33 miles per gallon combined with front wheel drive only. You can only get the Sentra in front wheel drive. You cannot get the Sentra in all wheel drive. And while it may not seem the fastest, it's not the fastest, but I think it more than makes up for it with its fuel economy. But if you're enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot reach my goal without your support. So if you're enjoying the video, if you've learned anything from the video, please just take a second to like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into the interior. Moving on into the interior, as before mentioned, you do get keyless access. So all you have to do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, press this button right here, and it will unlock. You can press that very same button again and it will lock back up. This is what the key fob looks like. It's mostly satin black, but you do get some silver accenting. And going over the function, starting from the top, you have your remote start function, your lock function, your unlock function, your trunk pop function, and your panic function. And if you wanted to remote start this, all you have to do is lock it, press and hold on this button, and it will fire up. And that is what it sounds like when you fire this thing up from the exterior's perspective. Now, the Sentra SR does come standard with cloth seats, but this one being optioned with the $2,490 premium package, you get the leatherette seats with the orange accenting on it. But we're gonna start here on our driver's side door panel. So at the top of the door panel, you get some vinyl wrapping. All of this area right here is that leatherette. You get a nicely padded armrest, some accent colored stitching. Over here, you have your side view mirror controls, your unlock and your lock functions. This button is gonna restrict your passenger window privileges. You get an automatic up and down driver window. None of the other windows are automatic up or down. You get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space here, a spot you could set your water bottle in. With the premium package, you get the eight speaker Bose sound system, and that is what the Bose speaker looks like there. This one has also been optioned with the $180 door pocket lighting, and I believe this right here is the light for that door pocket lighting. This has also been optioned with the $80 door sill plates with the Sentra lettering on them. That is what they look like. They are not illuminating. And then again, these are what your front seats look like, and as standard, these seats are heated. I wanted to mention that with the premium package, you get a six-way power driver seat with two-way power lumbar, and now we're gonna step into the interior. And let's take a listen to what it sounds like when you close that door. Now we're gonna gain access into everything here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you throughout the entire interior, all the controls and stuff like that, starting with the controls over here. So pressing on that, it's gonna put you into your eco mode. And then these buttons are to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. Obviously you have your trip reset button there. That is going to pop open your trunk. If you come over to here, you get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So when you flip that down, you can bring the steering wheel towards you. You can push the steering wheel away from you and it also moves up and down. And then once you find your comfortable position, all you gotta do is lock it right back into place. And now we're gonna take a listen to the turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like on the Sentra. And not only is this your turn signal control stock, this is also your headlight control stock. So right now that is headlights automatic, that is headlights on, that is daytime running lights on, and then all the way up is headlights off. I like to leave it in automatic personally. 
and then zooming back out, this is what your steering wheel looks like. So uh, you may notice it's a leather wrapped wheel. You get some accent colored stitching on the inside of the wheel. And then again, this one being optioned with the premium package, you do get a heated steering wheel. And just like any other vehicle, you have your horn at the center. So let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the Sentra. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, let's go over these controls here. So obviously here are your volume controls. Here are your tuning controls to go forwards or backwards on track with like your Bluetooth media player. And then you have these four arrows, the OK button, as well as that back button. And all of those are to control your productivity screen located at the center of your gauge cluster, which I will get to here in a second. But coming to this side of your steering wheel, this is to speak to the vehicle. Clicking on that is going to pop up your phone stuff here on your infotainment screen. And as standard with the uh, Sentra SR, you do get adaptive cruise control. So this and all of these controls are for your adaptive cruise control system. Obviously you have your windshield wiper control stock there. And then moving into our gauge cluster on the left-hand side, you have your tachometer and your coolant temperature gauge. And on the right-hand side, you have your speedometer and your fuel gauge. At the center, you have a productivity screen. I looked for the size of the screen, um, but I don't know the exact size of the screen because they don't really post it up anywhere, which is honestly kind of surprising to me. But uh, at the top of the screen, you got your ambient exterior temperature, the current time, that is your digital speedometer readout. You got your audio stuff here, fuel range, transmission status stuff, and that is your odometer. Now to navigate throughout this screen, again, you have these four arrows, the OK button and the back button. So all I'm gonna do is click down here. It's gonna bring me into the speed screen and then it also gives me my average speed and then all the way down is a calm screen. Now, clicking to the right, you can see your fuel economy stuff. And if I click down, you can see your auto stop start stuff, how long the auto stop start system has turned the vehicle off for and how much fuel the vehicle has saved with the auto stop start system. Clicking to the right, you can see your tire pressure stuff. They only appear when you're driving. Then you got some trip information there and your speed limit sign. So let's say the speed limit's 25 on the road you're driving on. It's gonna say 25 mile an hour speed limit. And then clicking to the right, you got your audio stuff. Uh, here is like your driver assistance stuff, your forward collision warning, your lane keeping system, and your blind spot monitoring. And if I click down, you get some more driver assistance stuff. Clicking over to the right, here is your settings screen. So if you go into your VDC settings, this is to turn your traction control system on or off. You click the back button, it brings you back into the screen. Then I wanna show you your driver assistance stuff. So here are all of your different driver assistance screen or system, whatever, here. I accidentally clicked the uh, button right here and it brought up the audio stuff. So. Here are all of your different driver assistance features. And then here are all of your different um, settings throughout the vehicle. And then that's kind of about it. I don't feel like spending too much time on that screen. Personally, this is the screen that I would leave it on. I like to have the digital speedometer readout at the center personally, rather than looking at the gauge there, but that's just me. Coming over to here, as standard, you get an eight inch infotainment system with wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto connectivity. So this is what the screen looks like. Let's go into our home screen. This is the home screen. You get your audio stuff, the time, call history. Click to the left, you get this screen, basically a clock. Click to the right, you get all of your audio sources. And then at the bottom of the screen, you have these different shortcuts um, to go into your phone, audio, your phone connections, info stuff. I'll show you with the info stuff, all of those different things. And then you can go into your setting screen. This is one setting screen. This is the second setting screen. And that's call I'm really gonna go through out on uh, that screen other than once I get through these physical controls here. So anyway, this is your volume control knob. If you press on that, it's going to mute the audio system. And if you come over to here, this is your tuning control knob. And if you press and hold on that, it's gonna pop up your bass, your treble, your balance, your fader, and that's it. And then you can see you have all of these physical controls here at the bottom of the screen. So this is gonna put you into your night mode. This is gonna put you into your auto mode. It's gonna adjust the brightness, um, you know, automatically, obviously. And then these are to go forwards and or backwards on a track, audio shortcut button, home button. This is gonna pop up your phone stuff on your phone. And then uh, again, this vehicle with the premium package, you get the 360 degree view camera system. So when you click on the camera button, it pops up the 360 degree view camera system. And that is my forward facing camera. And if I threw this thing into reverse, now that is my backup camera. And then you just click that camera button and it will go into the secondary screen and then it will uh, X out of that there. And then you also have a back button. Coming down just a little bit, this kind of reminds me of the older Audi S3s with the circular HVAC vents. 
Uh, you get three of them obviously and then you get your hazard button there this is going to let you know if the passenger airbag is on or off and as mentioned a little bit ago uh, as standard with the sr you do get heated front seats and you get two levels of adjustability for your front seats but with the premium package you get a heated steering wheel with one level of adjustability now i also wanted to say that with the sr you get dual zone automatic climate control and this is what the climate control system looks like when it is on you get the temperatures the fan speed and then let you let you know uh, where the air is blowing auto and then that is the auto and then that is to turn the system on or off obviously both temperature controls there and then come down just a little bit new for 2024 you get automatic stop start uh, on the Sentra so that is going to turn the auto stop start system off then you get a USB C port a USB A port an auxiliary jack and a 12 volt power outlet all the way to the right coming back out down here you can set your phone if you wanted to or just whatever you wanted to really it's just storage space push button start button and then coming over to here if you go into drive and you click on this button here that is going to put you into your sport mode so you can see the s i'm going to click that button again and the s goes away now we're just in regular drive mode and then all the way back is low right here is actually a great spot you could set your key fob if you wanted to it fits in there perfectly and then you get two cup holders here right now my phone is in the cup holder area um and then zooming back out or coming back a little bit you get a very nicely padded armrest some accent colored stitching and when you open up the armrest i'd say you probably get about 10 inches of depth by like eight inches of whatever actually probably like 10 inches whatever this way so 10 inches depth 10 inches this way um so honestly a very good sized glove box all things considered um you know a lot bigger than a couple other vehicles i've been in recently so and this is a little sedan this is what the passenger side looks like you do get a manually adjustable passenger seat that is your glove box not the greatest uh sized glove box but you can fit what you need to in there you can see you got your owner's manual and stuff you can still fit your napkins in there no problem up top here you just get a regular rear view mirror you get a spot you could set your sunglasses up top here your reading lights are both halogen this is your instant dome light on button it's going to turn on all the interior dome lights and then the button to the right of that right now when i open up the doors the interior lights will not turn on however if i click that again and this button becomes flush now when i open up the doors the interior lights will turn on so um and then also i think with the premium package i'm don't hold me to this but you get the nissan connected services which is what i believe this button is here and then to the right of that also with that same package you get the sliding and tilting sunroof so if you pull back the sunroof will open up that's as far as it will go and if you push forward by the way take a look at the crows i always like coming here because all the crows like fly it's pretty cool to watch and then if you just push up on that the sunroof will tilt open and uh, the crows were watching me live earlier doing uh, a couple reviews and then when you open this thing up with the premium package you get the vanity light either way you would get the vanity mirror and then you get a spot right here you could set any small little paper product and then let's see do the visors move forwards and backwards they do very very nice to see driver gets a no poop handle front passenger also gets an no poop handle and really that's kind of about it for what we got going on here in these front seats again i will say that these seats are very very comfortable um and this is a very good value you know all things considered you know it used to be an amazing value but it's gotten more expensive which i'll get into here in a second but i wanted to tell you as standard a couple things you get adaptive cruise control the dual zone automatic climate control system the heated front seats and now i'm going to throw the entire window sticker on screen i highly suggest you take a look at the safety features because this comes with a ton of standard safety features uh, but basically i'm just going to highlight the msrp so the msrp of the way that this particular 2024 center sr is spec is $28,415. This is the top of the line Sentra. It's just, it's expensive. You know what I mean? It's expensive now. These things used to be like a steal. You know what I mean? They're very, very affordable. And now 28 grand, that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That is a lot of money. So I think it is worth it because you do get a pretty much fully loaded vehicle with the 360 cam Bose sound system so it is very very nice it's just nothing's affordable anymore unfortunately but I do want to show you what we got going on in the rear seats before moving into the driving portion of the video so this is what the door panel looks like back here you get some faux carbon fiber trim and we're gonna see how far these windows go down 
Oh, nice. They go all the way down. And then again, just like the front, all of this area right here is leatherette wrapped. You get some orange accent colored stitching there and there. A little bit of miscellaneous storage space followed by a speaker. That's about it for the door panel. This is what these rear seats look like. So we're going to step on in. And uh, let's see. Up top here, you get no poop handle. You do not get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. However, you do get a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. Over here, you get a USB-A port. And then when you open this up, you get two cup holders, a nicely padded armrest, and you also get halogen dome lights back here. And when it comes to my leg and my knee room, I am adjusted behind myself and I am five foot nine. I've actually got plenty of knee and leg room. Here's a view of that. Here's another view of my knee and leg room. And when it comes to headroom being five foot nine, if I sit straight up, I don't really have that much headroom left over, maybe like an inch, but most of the time I slouch anyway, um, which you can make up a little bit of headroom. So really that's kind of about it for what we got going on here in the Sentra. So, you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I'll see you guys in the driver's seat all right now on to the driving portion of the video take a listen okay not the fastest thing i think we know that however it's got the power to do what you need it to do you know what i'm saying it's not going to blow your socks off but it is going to get really really good fuel economy i mean nearly 40 miles per gallon on the highway is pretty darn insane if you ask me i think that is very good fuel economy oh man that's a nice looking escalade right there i love the escalade sport um it's gonna do what you need it to do you know what i mean if you're gonna like want a vehicle that's got power that you're gonna have some fun with i'd say look elsewhere but if you're looking for a vehicle that's economical and it's gonna do what you need it to do and uh, it's gonna be efficient I think you'd be um, you know, very happy with this because it's affordable, it gets great fuel economy, and you know it's comfortable as heck. And it's not too big, not hard to drive. And if you get the SR Premium Package, you get the 360 degree view camera system, which just makes it that much easier to drive this thing. But now take a listen to what this thing sounds like cruising at about 45. Going to be going over some bridge joints. So I don't know what this thing sounds like cruising at 80 miles an hour, but uh, at about 45, it sounds right on par with you know everything else in its class. So I got no complaints about that. But um, you know, this would make for a great daily driver. You know, if you're looking for something, you're on a budget under $30,000 and you want something that's got pretty much, you know, all the options. Well, this thing has all the options while it might not have a BMW logo on it. It might not have, you know, maybe a, even a Honda, Honda logo on it. You know what I mean? It's, it's still going to give you all the features that you're looking for if you're looking for a fully loaded vehicle you know 360 degree view camera system rear parking sensors bose sound system sunroof the only thing i did do wish it had uh, was wireless apple carplay and wireless android auto it's got wired apple carplay wired android auto that's not really that big of a deal you plug your phone in and you're good to go but nowadays a lot of people have the wireless um, so really that's kind of the only thing that is really missing yeah you don't have a power front drive or power front passenger seat but you do get the power front driver seat but you know who cares right it's power pa or front passenger seat they can adjust it on their own most importantly the driver gets a power driver seat with the SR premium package so I did want to mention with the Bose sound system it actually sounds like really good and I mention this a lot of times when I do videos with vehicles that have Bose sound systems is that really Bose never disappoints when it comes to their sound systems. They never really put their name on something that doesn't sound good. So the standard Nissan sound system, and eh, not really that good. If you like listening to music, I highly suggest the SR premium package because it gives you that Bose sound system. So um, that's just my personal 703 speed recommendation. But this thing, it's comfortable, it's efficient, it's just not quick, and it pretty much comes 
fully loaded. So if you're looking for a vehicle under $30,000, at least put this on your list, go out and take a spin in one because it's going to give you everything you want for less. So that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot reach my goal without your support. So if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything from the video, please just take a second to like, comment, and subscribe. Those three things look very good for my channel in the YouTube algorithm and that is what helps me grow and that is what helps me reach my dreams. So I'd appreciate it if you do those three things. But again, that is it for today's video. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.